Hello everybody, welcome to another video and have I got a treat for all you sleeper band, sleeper music fans out there. In this video I'm going to be showing off some sleeper fan club music memorabilia, whatever you want to call it that I've acquired over the past summer months and I'm going to show them off to you right now. And what I'm going to start off with is this cover note that came for the sleeper, fan, the sleeper Fan Club. I think you sent away for this when you joined the Fan Club and you got it in the mail. So here we start off. I'm not going to read through the whole letter. I'm going to hold it up to the screen so that you can read it while I hold it off. But just saying, I'll read a little bit. Hello all. We know what you're thinking. Hit singles, gold albums, sellout tours of Sleeper. We have gone away to the Caribbean to do a Stone Roses. For no, and no such luck for us. And it's, it's going on talking about new singles. And new albums and it says there uh, here's the dates and tickets for the usual places and it's giving you a list of places where they're going on tour and then underneath it's got telling you about the new single sale of the century like I said this cover note would have come in the post when you signed up to the sleeper fan club and here's the news on the single and telling you about the single the single includes two additional non album album tracks package holiday no well and it's, it tells you it's on cassette and 7-inch. And the 7-inch single features the Blondie cover, a, a cover of the Blondie tracker Atomic. And it's on, the, it's on it tells you it's on the train spine soundtrack. And as if that wasn't enough, the 7-inch comes in a lovely British racing green coloured vinyl. And is limited and numbered from 1,000 to 10,000 copies. So there's only 10,000 copies of that green coloured vinyl available. And it goes on to say that there's lots of other interesting stuff going on, telling you where they went on tour. So it's, uh, it's asking, did you have your tape recorders ready? Who has the man? Who remembers tape recorders? That's a long time ago. Telling you that they're on the radio, the Mark Radcliffe Peel sessions. Telling you that they're going to be on TV on the TFI Friday, Big Mouth. And at the bottom, oh yes. The new album, it's called The It Girl, it's smarter than smart and is due out on the beginning of May. We think it's amazing, the best thing we've ever done, hope you like it. Anyway, see you on the tour, wear your badges and we'll wave at you. Cheers. And like I said there, the bomb cheers. Louise, Andy, John and Dave. So that's a cover note, for, I'm guessing that's a letter that came, cover note to the Sleeper fan club. Like I said, I got that. A nice eBay auction. So I'm going to start off with the small stuff first. I've got a pile of things here. I'm going to start off with the small stuff first. So first of all, I'll start with the badges. <clears throat> I've got three badges. I've got a football badge that says on it. It's not coming into focus there. But it does say on it that it, it says Sleeper FC 96. Can't see that, but well, that's what it says. Sleeper FC ninety six. That badge there, and then another plain red one there to go with the coincide with the release of the new album. It girl. It just says it girl on it. And then I also have a sleep another sleeper badge. That one just says sleeper. It's in red, not with the first album debut album blue. They're in red for the the new album coming out, the It Girl, and in my opinion, their best album. Now next up, I'd never seen this before, but here we have a sleeper condom. Now this was part of the sleeper um, fan club giveaways. It's not open, probably no good to anybody nowadays. Well, yeah, I'm sure lots of people who signed to the sleeper fan club received one of these. I don't, if, you, if you still have one, let me down in the comments below. But that is sleeper contraception for you, and that is a sleeper condom. I'm going to put that. Over there, in fact, I put that at the back there and I put all the badges up there with that. Next up, we have a few cards the It Crew, Quality Sleeper People, nothing on the back. What does it say on the back? Crack Back Plus, Fasten, Permanent. So, yep, that's a few flyers and cards. The It Crew, I'll stand that at the back there. Then I've got a picture of who is there in a Feel attracts the top. I think this picture is quite popular. It's often doing the rounds on the socials. If I open it up, 
got a picture of Louise when she was a very small girl there with a nice pair of glasses on. So I've not followed that picture. There is actually some missing off this when I won this auction. Didn't come with them all. There are some missing off the side there. And on the back, advertising, new singles out. The new album out, 13th of October. Pleased to meet you. And this new single, She's a Good Girl. So, yeah. These flyers, actually, probably not from that picture, they're nothing to do with the It Girl. So these are from an older, after the release of that album. These are from the third album. But those in the same auction, so I've included them in this picture here. I can stand out the back there. I'll move that to one side. Stand out there. Here I've got a flyer for the single Nice Guy Eddie. And it just tells you about the single. There we go. Telling you what's on it. And then another bit on the other side. I think it's meant to be a postcard, but there's no stamp mark or anything on it. Telling you when it's released. I'll stand that over there. Now next up, I do have a fan club for uh, flyer for the fan club. It's from 1997. And it says £10 in 1997 gets you 12 months membership and the following stuff so this is what you got for £10 for joining the fan club you got three magazines containing exclusive band interviews exclusive press for pre-release information and articles for those in, in and working with the band in the studio two you got an exclusive booklet previewing the new album and subsequent tour a lovely new sticker to put on your cat certificate of insanity to use as proof of membership to the sleeper fc Info on possible exclusive fan club gig. A sleeper pen in the shape of a pen. I don't have the pen. That'd be nice. If anyone's got a sleeper pen, let me know. I'd love to have that. The latest in badge technology. And at the bottom, eight, a calendar. Thing to use in fights over what date is in 1998. So that's the list of things that you got for £10 to join the sleeper fan club. I'm sure there's a lot of money there. And in the back, back of that, another picture of the band. There. £10 and you got all that, and that's in 1997. Mm. I don't have all that, like I said, I'd love to, if anyone's got a sleeper pen, please share and let me know. Next up, I've got a couple of booklets, <clears throat> issue one and issue two. These are from the Sleeper Fan Club, and they are telling things in the middle there. Oops, finger 10, page 10, 11, a nice picture of Louise there, sleeper. But inside these, You've got things about, it's from 1996, issue one, so it's got things about football, different bands and what teams they represent. We've got Oasis in Germany, Holland and Northern Uproar. Introduction to the first this first issue with, issue with pictures and stuff about the new album, as you can see there. It's all about the band. Open up picture in the centre. Mystic John's horoscope. So we've got some interesting things there to read and look through. All about sleeper, and yeah, it's a it's better yeah, better than the sussed ones that I showed off for a few videos ago. The sussed fanzines. These are actual fan club magazines, not just bits of paper put together. And there's a been they're a little bit better quality. You can tell a bit more time's been put in, time and effort has been spent to go into these top 10 things to us. Why don't they do that? An advertisement for you to buy a t-shirt. <clears throat> and this is from 1996, that one. And the next one is from 1997. It is issue two, so there is a long lag between issues. This one goes on again about a bit more. So now the album's been gone out. It's train spotting advertisement there in the center. Bit of talk about the tour and how the tour went. Why don't they do that again? It's talking about the band at Christmas things, competition. There was a competition in that first issue, and this talks about who won and what you had to do to win. And then an, another order for the t shirt again there, January 1997. There, so it's September 96 and January 97, issues one and two of the Sleeper Fan Club magazine. Now, also, can't get this in the shot, but I'm going to hold it sideways. 
official Sleeper fan club poster here and it says 1996 on it. I am looking to get this framed and put on the wall. Can't see the whole picture there, but I'll go to a full shot at the end of this full sleep official sleeper fan club poster there. It says 1996 on it, so that is quality. Like I said, I'm gonna be getting that framed. I'm gonna put that on to one side. Now finally, here is number eight on the listing of the things you get for £10 and here is the Sleeper <coughs> Official Fan Club 1997 calendar. It opens up, comes out to the bottom there and you can see a picture of the band on the front and inside you have uh, pictures of the band and the months of the year. So we've got January, January, February 97. March and April, and it goes through all the different pictures, different months of the year. So, Sleeper definitely knew how to put together a fan club and send things out to their fans, and it, they are quality and put well together. It's a, this is the only th band I've seen make a calendar. I've seen several things, and this is the only band with a calendar. And I was lucky enough to pick this up. And I think it's a great piece of brick pop memorabilia and it's definitely in my collection now. So yeah, I love it and they're gonna be on display very soon. Thank you if you stayed and watched to the end of the video to go through this collection of sleeper brick pop memorabilia. And if, as always leave any comments down below and subscribe and to the channel and also give this a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.